Today, we're taking a closer look at the female reproductive system, specifically the ovary. This remarkable organ is responsible for producing eggs and hormones that are crucial for reproduction. Let's explore its anatomy. The ovary is an almond-shaped organ located on either side of the uterus. It's made up of two main parts, the outer cortex and the inner medulla. The cortex is where the magic happens. It contains thousands of tiny structures called follicles. These follicles are like houses for developing eggs. We start with the primary follicle, the earliest stage of development. Inside we find an immature egg cell called an oocyte. This oocyte is surrounded by a layer of cells called granulosa cells, which provide nourishment. As the follicle matures, it becomes a secondary follicle. The granulosa cells continue to multiply and a fluid-filled cavity called the antrum begins to form. The tertiary follicle is the largest and most developed type of follicle. The antrum expands, pushing the oocyte to one side. This follicle is now ready for ovulation. The pre-ovulatory follicle, also known as the graphian follicle, is the final stage before ovulation. It's the largest follicle present, and it contains a mature oocyte ready to be released. During ovulation, the pre-ovulatory follicle bursts, releasing the mature egg into the fallopian tube. This ruptured follicle then transforms into a new structure called the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum is a temporary gland that produces hormones like progesterone and estrogen. These hormones prepare the uterus for pregnancy, if fertilization occurs, the corpus luteum continues to function. If not, it degenerates into a scar-like tissue called the corpus albicans. The germinal epithelium is a layer of cells that covers the surface of the ovary. The medulla, located in the center, contains blood vessels and nerves that supply the ovary with nutrients and oxygen. So that's a brief overview of the ovary's anatomy. Remember, this incredible organ plays a vital role in female reproduction by producing eggs and hormones.